If you're just joining us, we remind you that today marks the 61st anniversary of the armistice agreement that ended the Korean War. Earlier this Sunday, a ceremony was held at the Joint Security Area of Panmunjom to honor the sacrifices of those who gave their lives in the conflict. Our Kim Hyun Bin was there, and he brings us this report. The Korean War started on June 25, 1950, when the communist government in the north launched a surprise invasion of South Korea. The war ended three years later on July 27, 1953, with the ceasefire and the signing of our Mrs. Agreement that divided the country. Korea marked the day on Sunday with a ceremony honoring the sacrifices of the hundreds of thousands who died in the conflict. The event was held at the Joint Security Area in Panmunjom, the exact location where the Armistice Agreement was signed 61 years ago. General Curtis Caparati, the commander of the United Nations Command, was in attendance, along with other senior officials and Korean War veterans. By striving to maintain the armistice, we are honoring the sacrifice of the almost 180,000 men and women who died while fighting under the UN flag. And we acknowledge the estimated 2.5 million civilians who also died during the Korean War. When we take steps to maintain stability and security in the region, we display our desire to never again incur such a great cost. In the wake of the recent provocative acts from North Korea, General Skaparati also had a strong message for Pyongyang. Their continued um, opposition and defiance of the United Nations uh, Security Council resolutions as well as the international community norms is unacceptable and it further isolates them from the international community, further deprives their people of, uh, of any hope of a prosperity in the future. This ceremony not only serves to mark the signing of the Armistice Agreement, but it's also a solemn reminder that the two Koreas are technically still at war. Kim Han-bin, Arirang News, Hamunjong.